All right, so we are back with some more lighting experiments, this time using purple kohlrabi as a crop, and the results are pretty amazing, so stay tuned. Let's quickly talk about the crop and what we're doing. So we have three trays here. Each one of these trays has been seeded with 20 grams of purple kohlrabi per tray. They are all grown on a medium called terra fiber, which is a hemp hydroponic mat. It has no nutrients in it and we add the nutrients to it. So far, everything has gone through the exact same process, which is four days of weighted germination and then two days of blackout time. We have not introduced these to the light yet or introduced nutrients. So today we're gonna to put these on the shelf, but before we do, let's quickly talk about each one of these lights. We'll start over here on the top. I gotta to have my little notes here because there's a lot of information. So our top shelf are our T5 high output lights. These two lights combined pull a total of 107 watts and 1.37 amps. They cost a total of 21 cents a day to run and they are running for 17 hours during the day. All these lights are run for 17 hours on, seven hours off. The shelf below it, are the 18 watt LEDs that we've been using for quite a while in our space. Uh, they pull a total of 54.2 watts from all three of these combined and 0.46 amps. Uh, the total cost to run these are 11 cents per day. Onto the bottom shelf are our most expensive LEDs and the ones that did best on the last experiment. These are two of the 300 watt equivalent LEDs. They pull a total of 115 watts combined and 0.95 amps. The total cost to run these are 23 cents per day. So something I didn't talk about in the last video and we had a lot of questions on is what is the lifetime of each one of these lamps? So I got to Googling and I found out that our fluorescents here are only good for 10,000 hours. The LEDs are both rated for 50,000 hours. So what I found out using 17 hours a day, which is what we uh, run our lights at, is that we'd have to replace our fluorescent bulbs in about two years whereas the LEDs will last us about eight years. So there's much more bang for your buck using these LEDs because you don't have to replace them as often. So let's quickly talk about how many lux each one of these put out. So I'm gonna pull out my digital lux meter here. All right, so this is the part that actually measures the amount of light, the little white part here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this about an inch or so above the uh, bottom of the shelf because that's where the top of the tray is gonna sit. So you can see that we're getting about 7,000 to 8,000 lux depending on where we position this. Onto the shelf below, these are 18 watt LEDs. Towards the middle, we're about 7,000. And on the sides, we actually stay pretty near that 7,000 mark, 6,000 mark, because we have three LEDs instead of two fluorescents like we do above. So the light's a little bit more even on the dispersion. But the light never goes above about 7,000 uh, lux total, no matter where we position this on the shelf. So these are the weakest output of all these lights. Onto our bottom shelf, this is the most powerful and you can see we do a huge jump here to about 32,000 lux. So these have the biggest output. We actually hit about 34,000 right there. So on our last test, these created the best growth. It was the most uniform, best looking crop and it had the har highest harvest weight. But these are also the most expensive lights. All right, so the last thing I wanna quickly talk about is the cost per light. So the fluorescents up top, these run about $44 a piece, which makes this shelf about $88 to run both of these lights. On this shelf below it, these LEDs are about $6 a piece. So this is only 18 to $27, depending on which uh, light source you get it from. From Amazon, they vary between six and $9. So let's just say about $18 for the shelf, up to about 30. And the one below it, each one of these panel LEDs are $70 a piece, so it is $140 to have these lights on this shelf. So now I got some water added to all these, let's go ahead and get these put on the shelves. So we have red is gonna be our 70 watts, our yellow tray is gonna be our 18 watts, and then our 
Uh, green tray is going to be for our T5 high output lights. Okay, so I've got these all pulled off the shelf. Now let's talk about each one more in depth. We will start over here with our fluorescent light. This was the top shelf using the T5 high outputs. The growth here is really, really nice. Our cotyledon size is really great. The coloration is nice and dark and the overall growth looks really nice. The stem color is a nice violet purple. So I'm very happy with that and we are beginning to see true leaves. So everything is looking nice. Onto the middle shelf. This is our T5 LEDs that are 18 watts a piece. Again, the growth here is really, really nice. We have very consistent growth. The cotyledon size is very nice. The coloration is nice and dark for most of the cotyledons. Though I do think that the true leaves are lacking color just a little bit here. But overall, I'm very happy with the growth. And if we split this and kind of take a peek, our stems look really nice. Uh, again, same kind of violet hues, purple hues for the stems. It's a very great appearance on those as well. And onto the last tray, the bottom shelf, which is the 300 watt equivalent LED panels. The coloration on this crop turned out incredible. I am so happy with the purples that showed up on the cotyledons. The cotyledon green is also very, very dark and beautiful. Everything appearance wise about this just beats everything else substantially. So let's take a peek at the stem color as well. And the same kind of, I would say almost a little bit deeper in purples. So it's a little bit richer in color on the stems as well, but overall amazing growth. So I'm very happy with all three of these trays, but as for appearance, I love, 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 love the LED panel appearance. I have never seen this kind of purples on the purple kohlrabi ever. And I think it is really quite amazing. I can't wait to try to get some more results like this. Okay, so one last thing I wanna quickly talk about is the actual strength of the plants. Just kind of using my hand to move these around, I can tell that these two bounce back quite a bit more, which tells me that their stems are a little bit lankier. But when I do this one, I can feel that this is very, very firm and they snap back into position very great. So I think that these have a much stronger plant overall. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these harvested off camera. I'm gonna set some aside from each group. We'll talk about their appearance, what it was like harvesting it. We'll do a life taste test and see if there's any other differences there that we can talk about. So I'll see you guys in just a moment once I've harvested these. So I just finished harvesting all three of the trays. So let's quickly talk about the weights. So starting at the lowest, the lowest weight was our middle shelf, which is our 18 watt T5 LEDs. It had a total harvest weight of 251 grams. The next highest weight was our top shelf, the T5 high outputs with 260 grams. So it only was nine grams higher than our shelf below it. And then for our highest weight, it was our bottom shelf at 317 grams. Okay, so the winner in weight was our bottom shelf. So it had a huge advantage on weight and I think the coloration is beautiful. So let's quickly take a look at all these side by side. All right, so we have these all set on a white plate so that you guys can better see the coloration differences on all of these. So starting with the green one, that was our top shelf, which was the T5 high outputs uh, fluorescent bulbs. The next one over is our 18 watt LEDs. And then the last one is our LED panel lights. So everything looks incredibly beautiful. I love the stem coloration on all of them, though I would have to say that the winner in overall appearance is going to be our LED panels, which had beautiful stems, beautiful cotyledons, and everything about it appearance wise is just stunning. The other two did provide really great results, though they're cotyledons. I'm gonna spin this around so that you can see better the cotyledons. The cotyledons did lack a lot of the beautiful purples that we got out of our LED panel light, but they did nonetheless have very beautiful green cotyledons and the overall size and growth of them was really, really nice. So as for the fluorescent and the LED, they both look very similar in appearance, I would have to say. I don't think that there's anything that made one any better than the other, though I can maybe say that the fluorescent is slightly darker on the green cotyledons than the 18 watt LEDs are. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to taste testing each and every one of these. So we will start with the fluorescence. This is the T5 high output. I'm gonna give some to Mandy. There you go. And I'm gonna eat some for myself and we'll just leave a few on the tray. So it's very crunchy. I'm getting a lot of flavor initially. I'm not seeing any bitterness. And it has a nice crunch to it. It's very fresh. And honestly, there was a little bit of spice. 
So I'd say that the taste on the fluorescence was very, very nice. It had lots of layers. The crunch was very nice and it tasted very, very fresh. So let's move on to the middle ones, which is our 18 watt LEDs. Again, I'm gonna pull some of these aside for Mandy. All these cotyledons love to stick to each other. And then I'm gonna get some of these for myself and we're gonna leave a few on the plate. They look so pretty before, now they're everywhere. All right, so let's eat these. These are the 18 watt LEDs. Very nice crunch. I feel like there was more crunch than the fluorescence. Although I'm not noticing that burst of flavor initially like I did with the fluorescence, it still does have a lot of flavor. It is very juicy, very crunchy. So I would say that the taste on the 18 watt LEDs was very nice. It was very crunchy, it tasted very fresh. The only thing is it didn't seem as powerful in flavor as the fluorescence did. So let's move on to the last one, which is our LED panel lights. So these things are just gorgeous. I, I almost feel bad eating them. So I will say during harvest, the stems are a lot thicker to cut through. So I'm really happy with the strength of these plants. And I have a feeling that they're gonna be very crunchy to chew as well. So again, just pulling some for Mandy and pulling some for myself. So this is the LED panel light. Initially, way crunchier. Mandy approves, I do too. Wow. Okay, so. Initial flavor, huge initial flavor, big crunch, lots of flavor all throughout this journey. Mm, it's like there's layers, it's still going with the flavor. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. The LED panel light tasted amazing. Amazing crunch, very fresh tasting, lots, I mean lots and lots and lots of flavor. Like there was lots at the beginning and it continued all throughout the chewing process. It just kept going with flavor and flavor and flavor. So I would say overall winner for flavor is gonna have to be the LED panel lights. That was amazing. Like I am really excited to use this in a salad or something. I just wanna throw it on everything at this point. Maybe sandwiches, I don't even know. We're gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna eat some of that here in just a minute. Okay, so I think there's only one clear winner here, but let's just clarify. So for the overall winner of appearance, flavor, and harvest weight, I'm gonna to have to go with the LED panel lights. They produced such a beautiful crop that tasted amazing and provided us with the highest yield overall. So I think it's just a very, very clear winner here. I don't think anything else compared when it came to the quality of the product that came out of these LED panel lights. As for the other two groups, I do think that they both performed very, very well. The product tasted very nice. The coloration was really, really nice, but it just didn't have the pop that the LED panel lights did provide. So although it didn't carry as much color, and flavor as the LED panel lights, the other two groups did perform very well and we are very happy with those grows as well. All right, so that is it for this experiment. I really enjoyed doing this. I am really happy with the results that the LED panel light put out and I hope that you guys enjoyed this experiment too. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and we'd love to get those answered for you as soon as we possibly can. If you would like to subscribe, please do it. Clicks, it appears down here at the end of the video and you can click that if you'd like to subscribe. If you would like to check out our Instagram or Facebook, they are both at On The Grow Farms and we have a website now that has growing guides, information about our space and all kinds of good information. It is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you all so much. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.